hey guys what's up today i'm going to show you how to test your web api using rest client extension in visual studio code okay so to get the extension we have to go to the extension in our visual studio code then type rest and you would see the rest client extension and in your case you have to install uh, once you click the install uh, it is available to use it right you can also see the all the details here it has everything you need to know including a lot of samples okay now let's get started so I have a solution open here I wanna create a folder let's say test API or you can give it like API test however you like then I want to create file let's say get product dot HTTP okay and I have an API running on 7296 port right so this is my API address so I need to get that address so let's take that now I want to prepare the request so this is gonna be get request get from this API URL then the API method is like slash api slash controller name which is products right then we can use it then we can use this get method okay so slash api slash products that's it so this is my url and if you see here is a like send request that you can click on it so as soon as I click on it it will send the request to the API and I can see the response here which is null at this moment I do not have any product in my API site okay so looks like it is working now let's create a post um, request let's say post product dot http so I wanna post to this address right and we can verify it over here this is the method and it doesn't have any other route um, name so this is gonna be the post uh, method name then we have to provide um, request header which includes application uh, I mean content type application slash JSON because we are gonna send the JSON object so what is the request parameter here I mean request body so bo request body is like the product we have here now if we see the product it has ID name type color and price okay so we have to pass all these and for the post method I do not need to pass ID because it looks like API is creating the uh, GUID in the API side so we do not need to pass the ID okay so we have to pass name type color and price so let's create the object so first one is the name right I can provide a name let's say t-shirt then I guess this type it's like garments product then color and price oops color 
let's say red and price let's say 5.99 okay so this is my request um, body this is a request body this is request header and this is our um, request URL I mean API URL okay so we can hit on this one send request right or right click and you can also click on the send request from the pop-up and if you notice the status is okay 200 right also we can see the um, app product has been created right and it also provides our provides the id now let's go back to our get products send the request and i see we have one product in the list right so it looks like it's working as expected okay now let's create one more let's say um, another one blue t-shirt price 649 send and this has been created and if we click the send request to get and we see it has the list of products okay now let's create like update product dot http so this is gonna be pretty much similar to the post except uh, the request type is put right so this is the put type and we want to update if you see our update product has a route extra route which is id guid right so you have to pass the id um let's say we want to update this product um this one right so what we have to do we have to pass this pro product including id So this is the product and we want to update the price okay which is 11.30 right send request it has been updated now go back to our get product click on the send request and we can see price has been updated now let's create another um, request get product by id right and this is get all products okay so what we want to do get um from this address and we want to pass get product by id so you have to pass the id okay so let's uh get the id because we need the id paste it here so we got the product id if you send the request and we see the product is in the response right the object is there okay we can get all the products and we can also get a specific products which is working as expected okay now if we want to create one more product let's say it's a green and price is 7.25 okay and if we come here and get all products we can see all the products available we can also get the specific product okay so now we need to test our delete product api right so if we see the product has a delete method delete product which has id as a parameter in the url okay so what we can do 
which is pretty much similar to our um, a get method but it should be delete instead okay so this is the product I want to delete right so this is the delete product if we click the delete product has been deleted and if we click on the get all products you see that product is gone 11 point something right that is gone now let's try to delete a different product maybe this one okay so we can use this one here and if we send a request the product has been deleted we can verify it from here we have only one product available right um so this is the whole benefit of using the uh, rest client in visual studio code so we can reuse these methods in every time so i feel like this is uh, more convenient to use it and it is easy to implement also if you need to write um some variable here you can also write it down like let's say id and that id is this one right and you can use this id so now you can send the request so the product is not available right so that's why you do not see but if you see if you if we pass a different product mm, let's say we're gonna get this product and if we execute this one and we see the product is available right so we can also create the variable here and we can reuse all these things i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this video please click on the like button and consider to subscribe this channel thank you so much